25 years ago today, Ann Crawford of Canfield was preparing to pass the bar as an attorney and having life-altering brain surgery. Her husband, Scott, describes the medical procedure. She had a migliedalo hippocampectomy, which she had a which damaged the part of her brain, so they removed that part of her brain, and they also removed the lesion that was also causing the seizures. Up to that point, Anne had suffered from sporadic seizures from an early age. The first visible one was when I was four, and um, I had seizures intermittently through my life from that point forward. Before the surgery, the thought of having children was not an option. I just didn't have kids in my picture because that was not an option for me based on the medication I was on in my history book with seizures. Her husband calls it a miracle. Before the surgery, day-to-day -day life was peppered with uncertainty of seizure. They were petite mall. They were partial complex. She would like days off or like, like go off, stare off into space, unable to talk, and she'd wander off. She'd also have a hand tremor. Anne has this advice for those with an epilepsy diagnosis. When you explore all avenues to be sure you're taking the best route that you can take based on the circumstances and the diagnosis that you have. Anne handles estate and medical planning in her law practice. She's an advocate for having a plan. So I think that from the time you're 18 years of age, you need to have your health care directives. And I think that you need to know how you want your life to play out in case it doesn't play out as you think it will be. Reporting from a celebration in Columbiana, Jim Lowboy, 33 WYTV News.